Happy New, New Year! Year. It is officially 2019 and today we are filming our first video of the year and we are so excited! We're starting the year off right by traveling to our first new country. Gracias. We are in the back of a taxi on the way to the airport because today we are flying to... Cuba! Yay! Well, our taxi driver has disappeared. He got out of the car and said, PP, one minute. It's now been five. Is that him? Oh wow, he went far down there. Yeah, he did. He's coming back. Do you think we were gonna go? <laughs> he, he hasn't even <laughs> buckled his belt up yet. <laughs> Vamanos! No problema. In three. Well, as it turned out, our taxi driver dropped us off at Terminal 3 instead of Terminal 2. I gave him uh, last pesos as we were getting out of the taxi. So now we're walking to Terminal 2. We're gonna be all sweaty after our fresh shower. We have less than two hours, so our flight takes off. We still have to figure out how to buy an arrival card for Cuba. This could get interesting. Or maybe not. Happy New Year! <laughs> We made it. We're not sweating anymore. We're very calm. Everything's fine. <laughs> and we already have our Cuban visa. It was super easy. We just paid for it at the gate, and the guy even filled it out for me. $25 a person. So before we head to the lounge, we thought we would take a second to answer what we assume will be the biggest question in this video, and that is how are you as Americans traveling to Cuba? Are you doing it legally? Are you doing it illegally? If you're in Cancun, are you sneaking in? There are a lot of restrictions around Americans traveling to Cuba, but we are doing it legally. When Obama came into office, he made it easier for Americans to go to Cuba. And then Trump came into office and he made it harder for Americans to go to Cuba again. But as it stands today, as long as you fall under one of 12 categories, you can travel to Cuba legally. So when we were planning our trip, we had two options. We could either go as journalists or in support of the Cuban people. Most Americans who are going to Cuba will go in support of the Cuban people, which entails keeping a full-time schedule of things like enhanced contact with the Cuban people, support civil society in Cuba, promote the Cuban people having independence from Cuban authorities, and result in meaningful interaction with individuals in Cuba. <laughs> All this according to this legal document. So because this category is really broad, that's why most people end up traveling under this category. However, even though we think this is a great option, we chose to go as journalists because that's what we do all day, every day. So we felt like we had more flexibility to make the best video possible doing that. But we do plan to support the locals every chance we get. In fact, in some cases, it's actually illegal not to support the locals because there's a very long list of places that as Americans, we cannot spend money when we go to Cuba because that money ends up funneling straight into the pocket of the government. This includes things like hotels, tour companies, restaurants. We're gonna follow those rules. <laughs> I've worked up a huge appetite talking about all this Cuban <laughs> stuff, so we're gonna go to the lounge. And I need some coffee because I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning trying to make the most of the internet because we've heard that that is a luxury in Cuba. This is all theory at this point, but we're about to see how it plays out in real life because we are boarding the airplane to Cuba. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The following is a very important routine information announcement related to your safety. Please observe the demonstration. In caso de una despresurización de la cabina, todos requeriremos respirar oxígeno suplementario. Knowing that we were going to have little to no internet while we were in Cuba, we have both just been like absolutely crazy people this morning on our phone, on our computer. But now we're up in the air, the internet's gone, and it's just like had this calmness come over me. I think it's gonna be really nice being disconnected for the next seven days. Either that or really frustrating. We're very dependent on the internet when we travel. Welcome to La Habana Airport. 
work for your own safety. Please remain seated until the aircraft has contact with the staff before the terminal building and the captain has thrown up. And 55 short minutes later, we have touched down in Cuba. Country number 84. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to be discreet. We made it through customs. However, a lady just walked up to me out of the hundreds of people standing there, like an officer, and she questioned me, and I think it's because I have this camera. So I'm being discreet until we leave the airport. All right, we've made it through customs. Everything went pretty smoothly, except for Kara being singled out in line. So and getting weird. asked a bunch of questions. There were literally like a hundred people standing in this room and the lady came right up to Kara. Yeah, and asked me multiple things, like more <laughs> than once. Like, what do you do? Why are you here? Why were you before this? What were you doing there? But Doesn't besides that, everything looked pretty smooth. Now we just have to stand in this really long line to get some cash. <laughs> After we changed money, we quickly jumped in a taxi to head into down... Oh, hola. We shared with two French girls and came down to... I don't know where we are, hopefully close to where we're staying. One thing that you should know if you're gonna change money in Cuba though, is that there are actually two different currencies. There's like what they call a tourist currency and then there's a local currency. So the tourist currency, the CUC is pegged at one to one with the US dollar. But if you change US dollar, you'll pay a 10% fee plus the 3% uh, transaction service service fee. You basically lose 13% when you change your money. And then you have the local pesos, which I think is like 1 25th of a dollar. So we changed our money to the tourist money and we're gonna see if we can get some local pesos later. I love it here. <laughs> this city is so cool. And this is home for the next few nights. We are staying in what's known as a Casa Particular, which basically just means we're staying in a rented room in someone's house. It's like a big thing to do here in Cuba, but for us it really doesn't feel that different because we just booked it on Airbnb like we booked the majority of our accommodations. So next on the agenda... Wandering the streets in the dark looking for a restaurant. Our first Cuban meal! Some coffee. 
got up at five this morning to make the most of the internet. I did not. We can see if my head's cut off. It feels like it's really pointing down. I'm sure everyone is wondering what shoes I got for Christmas this year. I switched from Chacos to Tevas. This is not making the video. 